I tried to find Bob Bryant, but it was as if he'd disappeared. Sometime later, I heard the Wild Bunch was back together. Kid Curry escaped from jail, and now he was running the whole shebang. So I took to their trail, as I was still in pursuit of my brother's killer and hoped that he was back with them. That Kid Curry's kinda crazy, ain't he? Don't let him hear you say that. Anyways, I tracked those boys to a camp right outside Parachute, Colorado. Being outnumbered, I didn't bother with a warning shot. I just started taking those bastards down. Old Bob wasn't among them, and neither was Kid Curry. I could sense them close by, however, plotting something nasty. I just needed a clue as to their whereabouts. And I found one. A map with their bold plan clearly marked. This time, they were fixing to blow up a train trestle. Property of the Union Pacific. The plan clearly indicated how they were fixing to undermine several of the weakest wooden supports. Kid Curry was considered the wildest of the wild bunch. It was said that he fathered 85 bastard children, though some say it was only five. <clears throat> Kid Curry had bragged to a whore how he was gonna rob a train heading to the U.S. Mint in Denver. And that whore, Fat Sally, she told me. The bridge was rigged with dynamite, so I decided I'd best be careful confronting those bastards. A moment later, I saw a ladder that somehow had escaped my attention. Don't you blow us up now. Don't worry, I know what I'm doing. But the Wild Bunch did not take kindly to my presence and attempted to blow my head off. It appeared the kid had found a number of new recruits to bolster their ranks. Yes, there's always desperate men willing to trade their lives for stolen treasure. What happened next? Well, having removed the first bundle of dynamite, I decided I might as well remove the other one. Once that was done, I figured I'd find my way from there. to remove more of that damn dynamite. It must have been terrifying trying to make your way across. I was sweating it a bit, but then I noticed a footbridge tied up on high. So I shot the rope. So that was all the dynamite? 
And funny you should mention that, darling. As actually there was a fourth charge impeding my progress. Once I removed it, my path was pretty clear. So I proceeded onward, and realized that that way just wasn't gonna work. I needed an alternate path forward. <clears throat> Luckily, I found a cave, and as I made my way back to the bridge, I saw something that concerned me. It was a long burning fuse, and it was moving fast as hell. I had to catch it. The burning fuse was so damn quick, I had to run like the wind. I almost had it, but no. Thought I was gonna have a coronary when I lost sight of those sparks. My heart was pounding like a sledgehammer. I knew that failure meant boom. Then, finally, at the last moment. Whew. Of course, I was successful, or clearly I wouldn't be talking to you folks here today. Naturally, I removed the last dynamite charge. Well, it was a touching reunion. But by this time, I was thoroughly exhausted and dragging my ass as I was not a young man anymore. Precisely, they found me. Just when I thought things couldn't get worse, Kid Curry opened up on me with a goddamn Gatling gun. It was hidden in this tunnel and pretty well shielded.
Luckily, I had located some dynamite. I still, however, had my work cut out for me. Kid Curry himself. He had decided to stop pussyfooting around and deal with me personally. as he was. I was just a bit faster. And as he lay wounded, I demanded to know the whereabouts of Roscoe Bob Bryant. He shouted at me. Is that what this is about? Bob went with Butch and Sundance to South America. You ain't never finding him. <laughs> He shouted at me. Is that what this is about? Bob went with Butch and Sundance to South America. You ain't never finding him. <laughs> Those were his last words. <laughs> 